Hey guys, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another video for you guys. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I apply my wig. So this is my updated wig application video. I'm also gonna show you guys how I care for my wig. So yeah, if you wanna see how I got this wig to look laid, <laughs> then please continue to watch. All right, so before I apply my wig, today I'm gonna wash this wig. I've had this wig for about three weeks now. I made it three weeks ago. I didn't film making this, and this is the product that I use to wash all of my wigs. I use Pantene Pro V. Um, I know the shampoo says curl, but this hair's not curly. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> so I'm just gonna apply some shampoo all up in this hair, and I'm just gonna run my finger through it, through the water. I'm using like warm water. Hi Simba, my cat is always involved. You know that. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go in with some Pantene conditioner. I love, love, love this stuff. You guys, this video is not sponsored by Pantene, by the way. I just happen to really love Pantene products when it comes to my wigs. That's all I use in my wigs to wash them. And as for my colorful hair, I don't wash them very frequently because I don't want to lose the color. I don't want the colors to fade. So I don't. I try not to wash them too frequently. Now this wig is a wig that I do wear often, so I do wash it probably like every other week like only once per week um, it depends like it depends on how often I wear it and it depends on how much products I put in the hair like if I use a lot of hairspray or a lot of hair serum then I have to wash it up because when you wash it it literally bring the hair back to life by the way the hair that I'm using is from West Kiss and I've used their hair before I really love the hair I'll put all their hair info in the description bar down below all right, so you can let the hair air dry or you can go ahead and blow dry it. I'm using my blow dryer to blow her out straight. Uh, this hair is straight hair, by the way. This is how it looks when it's blow dry. And then I'm gonna go in with some hair serum. I'm using the hair serum by Ion. Sorry, I wasn't able to show the product properly. My camera is out of focus. You guys, I have a new camera and it goes out of focus so much. It's so annoying and I apologize for that. Anyways, I'm taking small sections of hair and I'm gonna go ahead and use my flat iron and straighten it. This flat iron is by Babeless. I hope I said that correctly. I absolutely love this flat iron. I'll put the link for that in the description bar as well. And it just straightens my hair out so good. And I'm going in with the hot comb just to make it more flat on the top. But I'm gonna do this once the wig is on my head as well. So this is her, she's style. Now we're gonna move on to wig application. So you're gonna need a wig cap. I usually get them from Amazon and this is what it looks like. And it stretches and I'm gonna apply this this wig cap on my head now you can get cornrows or you can slick your hair down with a lot of gel which is what I do because I still don't know how to cornrows and I've been wearing wigs forever so I slick my hair down with a lot of gel and do two braids and and now I'm gonna go in with my got to be free spray and I'm gonna apply this all over my wig cap because we're gonna be doing that melted ball cap wig method. Um, I personally prefer to do this instead of just applying my wig cap and then throwing my wig on because I feel like you can still see the wig band when I do that and I just prefer this. So it's really just up to you. It's a little bit time consuming, I will say that. And I'm just going in with my blow dry because you have to make sure it's like dry perfectly before you start cutting. And the blow dryer is just gonna help to speed that up. Then I'm gonna go in with my scissors and start cutting. I cut from the air first because it's a lot easier. I don't want my wig cap to um, unravel. <laughs> is that the right word? Anyway, so I'm just gonna cut through the air and put my air out and then I'm gonna start cutting off that excess band because we don't need that anymore. I'll tell you right now, it's probably better to do this with no makeup on because you're gonna get the hairspray on your forehead. So I have the hairspray on my forehead. Um, when I do my makeup, I try not to put a lot of makeup on my forehead as well because I know I'm going to put my wig on. So it's probably better to do it before you put on your makeup. And yes, I'm taking a food break. This is how you eat an apple when you have lip gloss on, okay? <laughs> All right, so back to cutting off that excess band off the wig cap. So I'm just cutting off the excess band on the back and also on the sides. And after I'm done cutting off the wig cap, I just go back in with the got to be free spray just to make sure the edges of the wig cap is laying down nice and flat. And now I'm gonna try my wig on just to see how that cap is looking under the wig. Okay, so I'm just trying on the wig just to see how it looks. I know she's looking kind of crazy right now, but I just wanna see how it looks with the wig cap. And right now I'm loving it. She's looking real good, but we still have some work to do. I'm just gonna go in with some foundation powder. That's my skin tone. And I'm just gonna apply a bit of that onto my wig cap. I don't put it all over the wig cap. I just put it like right at the front of the wig cap. 
Okay, so the wig cap is looking good. I'm feeling her. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and just start combing my hair out of the way. I wanna make sure I get all the little baby hairs and everything out of the way. I'm gonna go in with some got to be free spray. Not a lot, I just wanna get rid of the frizzies or any hair out of the way before I start gluing the hair down because you don't wanna get any glue on your hair. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with some glue. I'm using the Ghost Bond glue. I use Bold Hole sometimes, or Ghost Bond. It doesn't really matter, I like them both. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some of that glue onto my forehead, and I'm using a thin, a very thin layer, and I'm using a comb to spread that glue like butter. You don't have to use a comb, you can use like a sponge or something else. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer and dry it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my wig. So you apply the wig once the glue is clear. And then I'm gonna go in with a wrap tail comb and I'm going to press that press that glue into that lace that's how we're gonna melt her down and you want to make sure that comb is clean by the way so there's no excess glue on your rat tail comb when you're pressing it down because you don't want to get glue all over your forehead so she's looking good and I'm gonna do the sides now I do it in small sections instead of just applying the whole entire glue along the hairline I prefer to do it in section this works best for me when I do it like this and again I made sure the glue was clear enough and then I press it down now, as you can see, I don't really use a lot of glue because I don't plan on wearing this wig for a very long period of time. I'm probably gonna wear this maybe for two or three days, so this will last for about two to three days. If you wanna wear your wig for like a week or maybe two weeks, you're gonna have to add more glue. So you're gonna have to apply the glue, let that glue dry clear, and then apply another layer, and you might have to apply another layer. So the more glue you apply, the longer you're gonna be able to wear the wig. And this stuff is something I do often. I just apply my comb into the rubbing alcohol and just use a cotton swab and just take off the excess glue before I apply that comb onto my lace. Again, because I don't wanna get any excess glue onto my lace. So I always clean my comb off. So right now she is looking laid. She's all glued down. So we're gonna move on to the other side and we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side as well. And guys, if you get any excess glue on your forehead, just apply some uh, rubbing alcohol to a cotton pad, so 99% alcohol, and just and that will clean it right up. So you wanna be careful though with the alcohol when you're cleaning it up because the alcohol can actually take off the glue. That's how I take my wigs off, I use the alcohol to take it off. So just apply just a little bit of that alcohol and take off the excess glue. This is why this is best to apply with no makeup on. And again, I'm doing the same exact thing I did on the other side, I'm applying a thin a layer of glue and then I'm going to spread it and then go in with my blow dryer to speed up the drying process and I'm gonna go ahead and take that rat tail comb and melt her down so we're pretty much done applying the wig now I'm gonna go in with my hot comb to flatten her down I don't know why I always say her like she's a whole person <laughs> but I'm gonna go in with my hot comb you want to be very very careful with the hot comb like honestly every time I use a hot comb I'm like literally scared I'm gonna like burn myself with it but yeah be very careful with it because it gets really really hot but but it's really gonna help to flatten down that wig so it looks nice and flat and not bulky. I'm just gonna go in with some foundation powder and just put it at the edges by the lace just to make sure that lace is looking nice and seamless because we don't want nobody to see her. And I'm gonna go in with some hair mousse. This is so gorgeous. I got it at Sally's. This is the one I use all the time. And I'm just gonna apply this on my wig as well just to make it even look more nice and flat. It will help with the frizzies. So a lot of times with wigs, you can see a lot of frizzies on the top and this will literally have them laying down nice and flat. And I'm gonna go in with my brush to brush it all down. So I'm really loving how this wig is looking. She is laid, um, but I'm gonna add some baby hair. Now this is completely optional. I could have just left it the way it was, but a lot of you guys have requested me to show you how I do my baby hairs. I don't know why you guys request it because I really suck at baby hairs. Like I really do suck. But I'm gonna go in with my little razor comb thingy and I'm gonna cut these little baby hairs. I mean, this wig already had some baby hairs that I cut from previously, but when I wash the hair, I can't seem to find the baby hairs I originally had on it so I had to cut some new ones and I'm gonna go in with my toothbrush and I just use the mousse and just lay the little baby hairs down I don't like to do too much baby hair because it just doesn't suit me I don't think I don't have a lot of baby hairs naturally so I don't know why I put it on my wig but if you have it naturally why not rock it on your wig right I like to keep the baby hairs a little bit more on the natural side now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my hair so I'm using the wrap it you can also use a hair scarf to do this and I'm 
just brushing my hair out of the way and then I'm gonna go ahead and tie this down this will just really melt down the little baby hairs into that lace and just have your lace looking nice flat and laid okay so I'm gonna wrap my hair and I leave this on for like maybe 10-15 minutes um, you could also style it with your hair on it and I'm just gonna cut it off with my little razor and that's pretty much the finished product oh yes honey she is laid look at her so yeah guys this is pretty much how I lay my wig down this is how I lay all my colorful wigs down as well I know I don't show that on camera very often but that's because the steps are I don't want to show you guys that step all the time in every single video but if you guys want me to do that I will definitely try to um, if you don't want to use glue you can also use the got to be free spray method I do have a video on that how I do that it's an older video I should probably do a newer version of that video as well but yeah this is my wig she's laid what do you guys think let me know if this video was helpful to you i hope it was if it was please give me a big thumbs up comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next and i will be back very soon with the colorful hair i don't know if you guys missed the colorful hair or not but yeah i will be back very very soon i love you guys so much and thank you for watching and supporting my channel bye